up? What's up? Well, I'm on the side. We like you back. You said, fuck. 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 You said, You Oh yeah, we gotta pipe it up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm doing an interview. Yeah. As long as I'm doing, I'm coming. Y'all know what time it is, baby. It's Atlanta Skate Interviews. Skate Legends, baby. All right, today we have a panel of people here. This panel of people is a wealth of knowledge. And we ain't here to, to tap into that knowledge that all these skaters and members of the skate community have to give to everybody. So we're gonna start right here and let them know your name and how many years you've been skating. Good love boy. Give the microphone, uh, give the Been skating about 25 years. I'm originally from A. My name is Corey. I'm in the uh, SOS crew. I've been skating about 25 years. I'm originally a native of Atlanta, Georgia. I've been here since Jelly Beans, Cascade, basically from the beginning since I was young. Uh, but again, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Name's Herbert Boynes. I've been skating for about the same amount of time with SOS. Um, I'm originally from Albany, Georgia, and I just love the art form. How you doing, everybody? I'm Tony Taylor, Sick on Skates CEO. Been skating for 40 years, originally from California, but uh, family is from Georgia, Atlanta. Hey, Jack's up in here. 30, 31 years in the game. Yeah, oh, I rolled the wall this weekend. I had to say that. My name is Danielle Shakur, a.k.a. Blade. How you doing? I've been skating since a little child. I'm um, originally from Racine, Wisconsin, by way of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then now I live here since 2016. Well, actually, no, 2012. And uh, I was in a skate crew with Tony and Corey uh, in 2016, but I have a party called Vet Road, Ooh, so we gonna get that going. Joe. What's going on, everybody? This is Jody, a.k.a. Mr. For the Love of Skating. I've been skating since I was about, what, six or seven? A long time. Uh, we finna get into it. Y'all already know who it is. This is boy Drill. We in the building. Making him talk. You messed me up, man. <laughs> I, I, he can hear me. Go I had, I had it. I had it. Go ahead. Who had it? Okay. All right, you already know who this is. This is boy Drill. 31 year plus in the game. You already know. Let's get it. So look, so as as it pertains to the history, I got as it pertains to the history of skating, please someone enlighten me on the history of skate. Well, before I get into on the history of skating, first thing we gotta understand, when did we start saying representing ATL style? Does anybody here sitting next to me to my left or right? Remember when we started representing ATL style? That was 1993 for me. As far as I, as far as I know, ATL style, about 10 years, we've been repping ATL style. Basically, long story short, ATL style accumulated because other people came from different states and they had styles. We've been, because ATL is a melting pot, a lot of people brought it here, but we've been doing a lot of moves. Like I said, it's a melting pot, but we have developed our own. We've been doing things with people bring from Atlanta, Georgia, but we got our own style that's here. But basically, it's a melting pot. So it's a lot of people like Chicago. They got a certain style. Illinois got a certain style. But, but unfortunately, a lot of people come here and bring their styles here. But originally, ATL got a style. But about 10 years, I've noticed lately, we've been repping ATL style. We've been wanting to know where ATL style come from or who's the originator of ATL style. I'm going to be honest with you. There's nothing new under the sun. We've all learned from each other where Chicago, Illinois, New Jersey, whether, like I said, it's a melting pot, but we, ATL have our own style, but at the same time, 
We down here together. We down here together. So, like I said, it's a melting pot. But every there's ATL style it had originated for one person. In my history of skating, jelly beans, cascade, since I was 15 years old, we've learned from everybody. Everybody learned from everybody. So like I said, there's nothing new under the sun. And nobody originated, nobody in this lifetime, origin, ATL style has originated from anybody in this lifetime. As far as I know, everybody learned from everybody. And we take a little bit from each other and we create our own style. So... Well, let me just uh, get do a deep dive real quick. So when it comes to the ATL style, let's go further back. Let's go back in the 60s. Six, let's go back in the 60s. People wasn't skating in the skating rinks. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let me say it. Black folks was not skating in the skating rinks. We know why black folks was not skating in the skating rinks. They wasn't really allowed in the skating rinks. So was our people skating in the skating rinks? Absolutely not. But they were skating. Where were they skating at? Outside. Outside in the street. I spent time in nursing homes. I spent time with people who are 98, 89, 72 years old. Gave me different stories. I, I spent time with people on the east side and on the west side. And remember, people of color, we didn't have adequate transportation like that. So when we started talking about green bra, we are green bra going into jelly bean. There's an area of people that stayed in that, in, in that area that can get there. You had another area. They wasn't able to just go all the way on this side. Let, 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 did you think people had cars back in the day like that? No, we had a martyr. We had other transportation, but there was other skating rinks like Fast Eddie's that you were, you, you guys were told about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Jock Queens, which was also, I think Jock Queens was also known as Sparkles. Um, another skating rink. Uh, screaming with the screaming wheels. Screaming wheels. Yeah, yeah. All these skating rings back in the day. Yes, yeah, they, they catered to us, but there was a time that it catered to us. During that time that they let us people of color get in, they called it what? Did they call it urban night? No, they called it sur- soul night. They didn't know anything about urban. That word wasn't even developed. Yeah. They called it soul night to be nice because what they really were going to call it was what? Negroes only, blacks only, niggas only. I'm just being honest. I mean, we are in the South, right? And speaking on the South, was the South progressive like the North? Everybody went here to, to high school, right? We all took history and civil. Oh, yeah. It wasn't progressive like the North. The North moved at a, at a certain speed. The South kept that Jim Crow mentality. So getting into this when the ATL style start, it started a long time ago, but the elders, the, the OGs didn't name it. There was no name. Yes, the culture exists. Yes, it was Atlanta. Yes, it was ATL or it was the area or, or the, uh, or the projects where they, where they resided or the different homes or, or, or the cities where they resided. We had skating rinks back in the day. What did they call themselves? The skating rinks named themselves after the city that they reside in. Smyrna, Greenbrier, Roswell. And the thing about Roswell, you had two jelly beans. One jelly bean was Greenbrier and the other jelly bean was Roswell. Jelly beans, I, I, I tried to do a deeper dive in, into why it, they, they went after jelly beans. I'm going to do that on another interview. But what I'm trying to get to is we got a lot of people that's jumping on here saying they started ATL style. Now I'm just gonna tell you this. It wasn't done by one person. It's impossible. Because us as color, what did we do? We got together, right? Back in the day, I'm just letting you know, black people got together because they they were deprived of a lot of stuff. Ain't not one black person was going around getting everybody hyped up. Even Martin Luther King had a team. Malcolm X had a team. He had a whole nation. So you cannot sit up there and tell me that one person started ATL style. You had groups of people. So just by people sitting here, let's say those three got on a certain color. This three got on a different color. Us three got on a different color. And he started doing, they started doing the movement. We see that. We like, wait a minute. Okay. We can do something better. Then they start saying, Hey, we got to beat them. Next thing you know, we start developing a culture. Now everybody's watching. Do I know those teams that started or those crews? No, but me and him know that the, the, the culture was really pushed by crew. 
we we've been taught that coming up. We don't know the crews, but there's still some people still living and still here by the grace of God. For me, I just want to. When I got into this, I wasn't getting into it trying to say, oh, I want to be ATL style. I came to the skating rink, learned how to skate, and I saw a culture. I saw a group of people doing something. Then I saw another group of people doing something, and I said I wanted to learn. It took me some years to learn. As I was learning, I asked questions. Everybody had a a situation where they said, this is this, that is that. I had to develop my own thing. As I was going through that, I started learning and started understanding that what we did was different from someone else. This is before you had all these other styles pouring into this. Because at Golden Cascade, 24 years old, right? So people were skating where? Old National. Golden Glide. But Skate Town. But Thursday night Golden Glide. was what? I got my man right Golden here. Golden Glide. Golden Glide. Go, Golden Glide. It depends on where Everlast. you want to go with it now. Because you got to go a little back. Because I was one of the one that was at Jelly Bean. Golden Glide. Sparkle. Uh, uh, anywhere. Like, my, my, my. So I, you can go back. You can you can just about go back. Because I was there. Okay. So I, I, I so agree you hear what I'm saying, your, right? I agree with everything you're saying. But I, I'm, not cutting, I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting jelly okay. bean off. Okay, going back a little farther because I was back then. What? What? Where you want to go? Five thousand when it was on the screaming wheel. You want to go back a little bit farther? I was there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you were there. So I was one of them one that been skating when you were saying a little earlier. I was one of them one of them guys that was skating back then. Okay, let's start with you. Let's start with you, and then I'll right. pick up because yeah, I didn't want to start off. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that we got. Oh, who? Okay, okay, That's okay, why the question right. went around. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen now. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Listen. That's why the question went around. Yeah. Let's talk about how this ATL style started. ATL culture start. So, I'll, if you know more than me, please start it off. So, and I'll pick up because I'm not here to debate. No, we're not here to debate. We're not here to debate. I was just speaking on. That's all. Because you were saying like you didn't know, like you didn't never see nobody around, but you just gotta tell me a little, ask a little bit more questions. Cause I've been there. I think I'm on my, I might be a little bit older than you. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. speak on it since you've but been there. Pass it out to the next. One. We we ain't gonna go into the debate. You just want to talk about it. That's all. You I, I, okay? I, I, hold on, tell me. Yeah. I just want to hear everybody's <laughs> opinion right now. I just want to hear everything right now before we can. But, but, so so what he's saying is. He was talking about our era, but he's saying oh. that he wants you to tell about the skating rinks that was going down before the skating rinks that we was going to is going down. So if you're saying Screaming Wheels, Galaxy 5000, yeah. I remember that place. I never been there. I never been there. I never went. So if you was a part of that, then we need to hear about Y'all that. Been to Kate? I mean, certain, certain people have. You know, I mean, I thought I've never been there. Once. Rainbow Once. Skating Rink, All American yeah, Skating Rink. I do remember Rainbow. I forgot Rainbow. about Rainbow. Yeah, so, Rainbow. Rainbow. So look, so look, so look, so you brought it up. Yeah. Please speak oh, okay, on it. Okay, okay. Educators, that's that's what we're here for to be we're educated. That's the one I know of. Yeah. The Screaming Wheel. You had basically two of them. You had one in Greenbrier, and you had one in Decatur. and you also had uh, what that was? There was another rink back in the day. You tell me. Jelly Bean or Jordan or something like that. It was a, it was a name that I can't remember. But you said before the Jelly east side. Bean? Before yeah, on the east side. It was on the east side. It was probably Rainbow. That's the only between oh. Rainbow and Golden Glide. Rainbow, Golden yeah. Glide. And they were right down the street from. But unless but it was Brownsville, yeah, you know. Yeah, but, but, like I said, yeah, yeah, it was like he was saying field, earlier, yeah. Styles. Styles been out there. But like he was saying, I understand. When nobody label no style, when nobody give no group names right. and all that, right there, yeah. people would just ride. They were riding. They, they so, were riding. So, so, so we can agree. Like, well, so, like that said, the culture came about when people started like group sections. Okay, like that's three, they three, that three. Start wearing different uniforms. Okay, we gonna do this, we gonna do that. We Give me a year. Give me a year. Cause I have a year when they start doing that. Remember when I started this off? I said it didn't start in the skating rink. No, no, it didn't start. So you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. It started, it started on the streets. Stop. Eat my part was one of the places where it started. Yeah. Rocker Mart, I uh, forgot the street where they would skate down the hill. What year, Oh man, so she's 82, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say somewhere in 70, I don't know the exact year, but when we do another interview, I'll have all that documentation. And just to let y'all know, anything that I say, I can back it up with proof. Documentation, video, pictures. 
I'm not just pulling this out my ass. I've been, and the reason why I'm not just pulling out my ass because when I do interviews with Atlanta Journal Constitution or if I'm starting a, a situation with Emory College, they want me to provide documentation. You can't just go in there and say, oh, well, yeah, I did this back in the day. They want proof. So I have to provide proof. So I'm not pulling this out my ass. Are we, are we on, are we all on the same page? Okay, can I get back to Golden Glide? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So. When, when Golden Glide, what day was Golden Glide kicking ass? Thursday. Thursday. On Thursday, college right? Night. Thursday, college, college night. night. Supposed to be college night when I was in high school getting this belt. I'm not taking nothing away from any other skating ring. But Thursday night really starts setting the mark. I wasn't that person in on Thursday night that was setting the tone. I was in there learning. Yeah. There was crews in there that was knocking. The twins was in there. Yeah. The Mitchell twins. I, in my, I'm just gonna say, the, when it comes to the Mitchell twins, there was no crew that can really touch them. He might have a different opinion. No, hey. That's probably that's about like 90, 93, 95, 96. Now, they got locked up. Yeah, the, no, 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 no. They got locked. When Cascade opened, they got locked up. They got locked up when Cascade opened. But the, the Mitchell twins, they were, we were around the same age. But they were so skilled. Why were they so skilled? Because they were learning from people like Vaughn. They were learning from people yep. like, well, I'm just going to say Vaughn. I ain't going to say Anthony because I, I I didn't see Anthony there, but I, I heard that Anthony Francis was there. But going back to Thursday night, that's when I, that's when I really started seeing crews. But even in that, I wasn't hearing people say ATL style because I just asked these gentlemen before it started. And I'm going to ask you, when you were skating, did you see anything really going down in the middle? No. Nothing at all. Everything when you were skating, did you see anything going down in the middle? No, nah, when I was working there, I still didn't see nothing going on. It was 800, 900 people. Jody, when you, when you hit the rinks, did you see anything going down in the middle? Everything was on the outside. outside. Everything, everything was rolling. on the outside. They, they didn't, everything was on the outside. They didn't really call it the ATL style at that time, but everybody was riding. Train, clap, stomp, cause I was a part of them. I, I was with Pee Wee, Fat. Uh, 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 a man, black, a lot of those, a lot of, a lot of riders back when we used to ride shoulder to shoulder, yeah. dipping, yeah. clap, stomp. This was back Trio. late eighties. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Riding, when it, riding did not start where? It did not start here. Hell no. Oh, no, no, no. And did it did it have a name? It didn't have a name. It didn't have a name. Have a name. <laughs> and what was the skates that we wore when we did it? SP two hundred fours, baby, Carrera. And, it, and, and the number was SP two hundred four, Carrera. I know you know. I always my own. I always made my. Hey, I Hassan, Hassan was another one that used to be in the ride back in the day. So I don't know. I don't know where we're at. So I watched. But like you said, they wore. Wasn't nothing going on in the middle. Everything was going on on the outside. So, with, with that being so where, said, I, so where I was going with it, um, a lot of us sitting here, we were back in the day. We noticed that there was nothing going on in the middle, and you had to be on the outside. And for those that didn't know how to skate, they couldn't just jump in a line. It, that. Th- there was rules to this, to this, what we call ATL style. Unreal. There was rules. You, you, you had to learn by trial, by fire. You had to get, you had to, you can't go to the front. You had to go to the back. There was a, was there not a lot of crews? A lot of crews. We got Jamar and Kelvin, the Battle Cats. Oh, yeah. You went back. Come on now. You went back, back. We, we got, we, 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 we got the twin, I already mentioned the Mitchell twins. We got the Mitchell twins. Um, and then the, 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 jungle, old, the jungle, come on now. The gorilla brothers. Then we had the bounce cats. I know you know what I'm talking about because whenever they came on the floor, all the crews had to move to the left to let them do their thing. They was the ones that was hitting the wall, doing the 360, spin, grab, and doing tricks. That's where I got my whole idea to include tricks was from those guys. You don't see them no more. There was a lot of crews back there. In, 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 in Golden Glide When Golden Glide was taking off on Thursdays Everybody that was from other skating rinks yeah. Was going there right Yeah we was coming we was That's coming. how I met this guy I never seen this I'm like who are these cats coming in with this this routine or whatnot, You know And they was 
Yeah, they 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 had they thing about them to let you know that they was that that crew. Now at the time, I wasn't pushing a crew. I wasn't, but I did meet somebody who, and I'll get back into it in a later time. Develop something. These guys was my inspiration. The ones was my inspiration. We were rivals, but I but to fast forward to get to my point about when this whole ATL style came up. These guys came up with this thing called Team Elite. Yep. The the basis for Team Elite was, hey, look, because we traveling, we got to get that our stuff out there so they know what it's called. Yeah, we we battle each other and stuff, but when we travel, we, we we together. Everybody, everybody's on the same team. Yeah, Tony, y'all do something different. Yeah, we do something different. This is how we're gonna do it. Y'all gonna be on one side, we gonna be on the other side. And they gonna know what Atlanta is about. They got their specific names to what they do. We got our specific names. But we fell under the umbrella by calling it ATL style. No, we did not start wait, ATL wait, wait. style. We called it that because someone from New York, a DJ, said ATL didn't have a style. Sorry, Big Bob. ATL didn't, Sorry, Big Bob. ATL didn't have a culture. Sorry, Big Sorry, Big so my man here from way back knows about the culture, knows about the style. Yes, it didn't have a style. But that's the reason why you start hearing folks say ATL style. We started that in 2000. Not saying we started it, but we were yelling it and chatting it in 2000. Because when we got here, I wasn't always the leader of my crew. A man by the name of Ron, uh, Chris, uh, Ronald Crenshaw led my, led my crew. Led my crew. Shout out to Ronald. Okay. Shout out to Ronald. Welcome to new baby in the family too, Ronald. We appreciate And the reason why I bring Ronald up, Ronald is the reason why I start traveling to skate parties. He came to me and Antonio. Because me and Antonio already had a structure. And you remember Antonio? Remember Antonio. We had a structure. The structure was said, hey, look. Let's start going out to these other cities. Let's hit Alabama. Alabama. Let's start traveling. They had to convince me. I was like, all right, cool. As we start doing it, we didn't know nothing about traveling. Back then, we had Google Maps. So we had to print that mug off. (laughs) But because of Ronald, (laughs) but because of Ronald, Ronald, and I did not just, he had resources. He had a person that knew how to book rooms. We didn't know nothing about booking rooms. We didn't know nothing about getting to this location, that location. But he had resources. And that resource got introduced to me and Antonio. And as that started to go, they started doing, they were doing their thing. We kind of like linked up, not at the same time to go to these different places, but we said in our mind that Somebody we going to show them gonna what feel. Atlanta is about. Yeah. There's facts behind this. We won trophies behind this. The first place that Atlanta got recognized, because it, let me go ahead and say this right now. ATL style was not recognized at a skate party in Georgia. It was recognized facts. in where? Well, we won ours in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, Alabama, we said. We, uh, the first time that Atlanta really got put on, because when he said they won, it wasn't a lot of ATL people out there. It was them. Am I right? Right. Won. Atlanta showed up in Alabama. Yep. We all wore red. We showed up in a force. First time ever. And we won a trophy <laughs> and got recognized by Dog Pound Skate Crew. Yep, yep, oh yeah, yep. when we all Amazing. wore red for the for the skate sure party. Yeah. That was the only time we ever got recognized. Got Excuse that me. That was the first time that we got recognized as Atlanta. So before yeah, then, when they did roll calls, and before we get into roll call, what's the man that's that that kind of helped? Well, not kind of helped. That started this whole situation. When we start talking about skater time, we forgetting this. We don't. We don't even talk about it. Come on, John. 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 Come on, John. John. On, John, John was in Golden Glide kicking up dust. Now remember, I said there was a lot of crew. Yeah. But when he came in, he was bringing that up north style hard. He had a crew in there bringing it up hard. But we don't even talk about that. 
we don't give credit to him because some of the older cats really vibe with him. The Atlanta cats, the younger cats vibe with the, 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 the Atlanta cats like Levi. Like, uh, yeah. um, yes, yeah, Levi was one of my mentors. Yeah, like D'Angelo. Yeah, that's what I watched coming up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I remember the brothers' name was, uh, twins. twins. You talking about the twins? twins. Talking about the two brothers? Yeah. Two brothers. We, we used to call them the twins. The two brothers. Mitchell together. twins. Yeah. Uh, them, but, uh, uh, that was my mentor. So that, that's why I get all the looks for. So they since you've been there, you can, you can agree to this. Who was Skate Man? Oh, 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 Al Fleming. Right. Well, I don't know his name. Yeah. Al Fleming. Yeah. 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 That's the end. No, no, the no, 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 I have, they were all my mentors. All of them taught me. Levi spent hours with me. I didn't want to spend hours with Levi. He kept pushing me. Oh, yeah. That's why when he came on that interview, he said what he said. He pushed me hard. Levi was, Levi was like the plague boy. Yeah, I don't think Levi got hips. He was hey, doing something. He, 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 he ain't got no hips. But, 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 but historically, Levi was doing stuff hey, that wasn't done. Hey, Levi, exactly. he, he on the floor. He on the floor on one wheel doing this kind of stuff. I'm like, what? Like, I, when I, and, and Levi had this swag about him. It kind of puts you in the mind of like Ohio stride. Where he would dip his shoulders and go this way. Or lean this way, they, like driving a car. So they try to mimic the style. When he was leaning, he will dip this way. He was like my hero. That was one of the idols that I watched coming up. I'm not trying to take nothing away from nobody, no OGs. But here's my, my issue. How are we going to talk about ATL style and not talk about Al Fleming? Right. A lot of us don't get to hear the history about Al Fleming. Did Al Fleming go to Jelly Bean? Yes. Al Fleming shot commercials at Jelly Bean yep. with a crew called Cosmic Game. Cosmic Skate Game. They, sh they shot. So everything I look at is we do, oh, we do, we, we, we repeat the past. But Al Fleming was shooting movies back in that day. Al Fleming toured with James Brown. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bill Butler did his thing. I, you know, like I said, I ain't take away from no, no OG or whatnot. But we're not even talking about the OG in Atlanta who traveled with James Brown. We're not talking about the females like Tao Reed who traveled with James Brown for four years. Yeah. And, and is a country singer. And a country singer. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, Tao Reed Influence and help many people yeah. to include Camille Gill. I was about to say that. You're about to say that. Yeah. But we don't talk about this. Is what I I get. I have an issue about when we talk about Atlanta. We talk about everybody else, but we don't talk about our history. I can say sitting right here, you telling me stuff I didn't even know. <laughs> And I grew up in Atlanta. Tony been around. Tony been around. But he going now. He going, I don't know he some of this down. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like real quick, real quick. But I'm not saying it's like that old thing. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's go to the home thing. Yeah, right. Everybody knows y'all. Right. I just want to make sure we have fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, Calvin, Calvin, what's going on? Those particular names, I can say that. 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 My grandmother washed sheets at Great Hospital. She used to set me on top of the dryer while she washed clothes at Great Hospital. I, I just wanted to tap in right quick. I want to give a shout out to East Lake Meadows. I want to yeah. give a shout out to Capitol Homes. Yeah. We know, we, we know about Decatur now. That tap? was us that knew Decatur. Yeah, yeah. Hey. That knew Decatur. I just want to give a shout out. Hey. When it, when it comes to. I want to make sure it was all Atlanta right now real quick. Just, just a, just a, 
get back on Mr. Al Fleming Skate Man. He's been doing this for a long time. He, he, he filmed in a movie called Funland. Like 19, I want to say something, 1980 something. I, I find the, the facts. He was in Robocop. This man has been in so many commercials, so many movies, all the way up until ATL. Yep. Now I just want to go back to one of those interviews where a guy said, and like I said, nothing to say, nothing against no OG, but when he said Bill Butler had something to do with ATL, me and this man was on set the entire time. I was on set to the point where I could see all the credits. I could see how much people were getting paid. Well, we, we had all that info. See, I got 15 mil before he even started to, to rehearse. They gave him his check up front. When they gave us our check, the girls and some of the guys already came back, what? Buying cars, putting rims on their cars. I'm just giving you an Thank idea you. how big the check was. But going back to my point, we got people saying stuff and can't put facts in it. The person who was a part... First of all, ATL, does anybody know what ATL was supposed to be about? Supposed to be about jelly bean. When we get our check stubs, it says jelly bean. They just finally changed it to ATL. The reason why they can't use it, because nobody, somebody didn't want to sign off. Oh, they didn't want to sign and off. They had Ooh, another state God. ring that was named Jelly Bean. Thank you for not signing off. Thank you for not So they would have had to pay them. To use the name. Because they would, they, they would, they would want to re- receive some money for it. So what people don't know, we still ran the script, but we had to change it. Because they named us the preps. They kept it the preps. They had a different name at first. They had to switch the name. They gave the ones to T.I. and them. They gave them a different name. Man, the Dolo girls, yeah. that was kind of, that was a made up thing, but they had to switch the script. They need a the female. They need a the female. Something in there. about Atlanta. Yeah. The, uh, the script fill it about four or five times. Jackie, Y'all didn't see the battle <laughs> that on the wall in Cascade. What it say? Skate Wars? We actually did the Skate World Wars in the movie. Situation happened where somebody got their leg cut on the last, on the last, um, shot. And they took the whole thing out and then it flipped to T.I. trying to save his brother. But it would have been a skate movie if they kept it in there, but they took it out. My personal opinion about the whole ending of the movie, they didn't give the actors enough time and that's just something that Hollywood does. They put people in a situation and they, they like, Oh yeah, you guys go skate and we'll, you can practice on Monday and Thursday and you guys will be good. No, not doing the hardest skate style and, and skating. You, TI is not going to pick up ATL style on the fly two days a week and he ain't never skated like that. So when we got out there, oh, gosh, out even the extras, the extras. <laughs> They put them together because they look like the actors. They didn't skate together and Pierpont, he was struggling. I mean, funniest thing I've ever seen in my life is a piece of paper with skate moves on it with stick men with the, with the, with the skates on the bottom. That was, that was comedy to us. We were laughing about it, but that's what he needed to do to be able to perform. But they never got enough time to really shine. So I felt like when he said, oh, the gloves are off. Because remember, he told us we couldn't do certain stuff because it was supposed to be shining on T.I. them. After that, he said, yo, this is whack. We got to we got to take the gloves off because everybody got to got to get it in so we can get a, a finished product. And then when they did that, they could make an ATL, too, and we could get paid. And not even have to skate. That's how much footage that didn't even get put on the screen. We could, we could, we could get paid all over again and never go on set for the next movie if they ever did it again. They could just use what they didn't use the first time. Cause we had what 26 days in a row we was filming. So we got, we got weeks and weeks of film and they didn't even use half of it. So I just felt like they didn't get enough time to really 
get get the get the ATL style the way that it would have really looked if like like how we skate. They couldn't they couldn't do it. Now the extras couldn't do it and the actors couldn't do it. So then they had to come up with plan B and plan B was okay, well his brother gets shot, he don't make it to the thing and then you know we show some some people skating but you know T.I. them group wasn't there well I can add to that so. speaking of time to skate so we were all here when Usher had started to skate we knew something was happening we were in a crew <coughs> hard and we get I'm giving shots out to Usher because he actually started him and Jermaine Dupree would come here and all the skating rinks and they would skate Daily, they would skate a lot, you know. Not, shots out to him doing the uh, Super Bowl and stuff because he really worked hard for that. Usher would really come, really try. He would skate with the skate crews uh, and do all the stuff like that. And then I see where he at now, but he actually put in the work and did and skated all, you know, with the skate crews side by side. And then they tried to do a production where we battle. We actually had a battle, right? You know, live. It was a live online battle that we all it was did together. Online battle, online battle that we did here. And um, yeah, that, was, that was pretty yeah. dope. That was pretty dope. That was dope. That was and, dope. Shouts and, out to Usher and, and all. And had they had they kept going and bringing other groups, that could have been what they just filmed in New Orleans, and that was what ten years ago. Yeah. They just filmed something in New Orleans. If they would have did what what we did, and they kept it going with different crews, what happened in New Orleans would have happened. Ten years ago, we did that, yeah. and then and then Usher, Usher came in here and took the falls. He 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 he, he went and, and got the better skates. He went and, and asked questions. He went to learn stuff. Um, one he put the work in to the point where I'm gonna tell y'all how how difficult ATL style is or. Some of the stuff that is a part of ATL style. They called me on the phone and said, Usher's doing a residency tour. We need you to go out and teach him ATL. I got on the plane. I flew out to Usher. It was two guys out there, Bobby West and Darian. One from Chicago, one from Phoenix, Arizona. Neither one of them knew anything about ATL style. So I'm literally with these guys for four days, nonstop, making sure that they can do the the cross slide, making sure they could do a couple of moves that I had them working. And then Usher would come in at, you know, it, it, from time to time and work with us on the moves. Now, here's where ATL style is one of the hardest styles in the world. When... They got on stage to do the show. The, the moves that I showed them, they're some of our easier moves, but they couldn't get it on stage to where they pulled the ATL stuff out of, out of the routine because they wasn't doing it. And they, they wasn't, they wasn't hitting the moves. So that's just letting y'all know. ATL style is hard. It's not nothing easy. What 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 different styles and moves that we do? What we do is not not easy. What Kelvin and Jamar them was not easy. What Man and them did was not easy. What Tony and them did, it's not easy. It's not something that you can just jump in line and say, oh, "I'm gonna get this today." No, you're gonna get this in six months. Or a year, or two years, or never. I want, I want to bring them in real quick. When it comes to the, to what he just said, what you do on the floor is different from what I do on the floor, right? But it's a, it's a, it's related, right? It's different from what he does on the floor, right? What we need to start getting people to understand is ATL style is not just stabbing or stepping. Because what y'all do, y'all do, what do you, what's y'all name? Mine is Drip Roller ENT. Back then it was Stomp Boy. And then the, the Stomp Boys, y'all lived up to y'all name. Yeah. They lived up to their name. They stomped but, it out. But, but, but we were, we were, <laughs> Sunday night. They were, but we gonna go back. Now we get the camera. Now the camera is on me. Now the camera on me. Now when you wanna say moves, we did start some light moves. 
dance moves, rolling moves, twisting, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? I had a little crew. I wasn't a, uh, the CEO of Stump Boy. I got into the group. And when I seen the potential that the guys had, I say, let me just take them over and take it to another level. And that's what I did. So, took them to another so, level. so that, that's, that's what I'm glad you said that because the, the CEO of the group used to live in my neighborhood. That's Marcus. So I used to take him to the skating rink. That, that Marcus is not the CEO. Who's the CEO? The resident okay. CEO is Mark. Who? Mark. He got a sister. Uh, Marcus is, is Marcus and Mark. That's two different people. Two different so, oh, okay. Yeah. So now, now we get it somewhere yeah, yeah. because Marcus. This, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold, hold it, Joe. We gonna get, we gonna get to it. This is the original CEO of, uh, Stomp Boy. Cause I, then I'm. That's the CEO of Stomp Boy. Correct. Right there, Marcus. That's Mark. Him. That's Marcus. Yeah. He yes. lived in my neighborhood. No, you talking about Mark. No, him. No, he never stayed over there. Huh? Not him. He lived in Vinings, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I, we yes, lived in yes, the same. Yes. I used to drive him to the rink. But so listen. Mark was the good. other one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mark. It's Marcus Hollywood. and that Hollywood. Mark. Hollywood. We call him Hollywood. Hollywood. Light Hollywood. Yeah. Light Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Light Hollywood. Light Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. 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 No. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mark. Shout out to Hollywood. Okay. And see, like I said, these are the reasons. These are the reasons of Stone Boy. I wasn't the CEO. So look. Now, what I told Mark yeah. was you going to have to step your game up because your crew is better than you. Yeah. And yeah. if you don't, then you need to pass it off yeah. because eventually y'all started stabbing. Yeah. And then that's when that's when that's when everybody was cool. Once y'all started yeah. stabbing, then there was no more back yeah. and forth about what was y'all was y'all ATL yeah. was y'all. Yeah, but when, when, when y'all was did, still ATL. Yeah, they only stopped that first. We had a we had a new yeah, generation. Right. We sat down and had a talk. And Marcus said, "Josh, I'm gonna just let you go ahead on and take over the group." Right. And from that point on, I never looked back. No, y'all was y'all was in there. Y'all was in there. If anybody know this corner right here, we ran that corner right here. Yeah. The side the sideline, we ran the sideline. When it comes to any stealth moves or anything, video parts or whatever, I got them all the way back. To like 1996, I ran the group for eight years. So and then everybody started falling. You know, I'm right, getting grown right. and going their own way. But right, yeah, right, we had right. a good life time. Life life yeah, life but Paul know life. he know <laughs> a little bit more about me when we was in the ring. So that's what I'm saying. So like when 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 y'all was when y'all was hot because y'all was hot. Point blank period. You for like three years. Well, hold on. Like, yeah. When we, they had, they had the, we had the, the round the end, like yeah. probably about a year before y'all left. So what, like, y'all was when y'all left? I spent about six months. I left in 2019. Yeah. Well, well, we, no, no, yeah, yeah. I'm but I'm, I'm no. we're like, we're ready to go. No, so, what happened, so what happened was, we started going to skate parties. Yeah. So when Sunday night came, we were still out of town. Yeah. yeah. So Stomp Boys became the shit because they was the only here group. every yeah. Sunday. Well, we, well, we let, me, let me let me clarify something. Go, yeah. SOS go SOS or skate, skate SOS time. stop zone in 2000. 18, 19 at Cascade on Sundays. Yeah. We never stopped. We just started migrating over to Sparkles. Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. what I was doing was skating here and then leave to go to Sparkles yeah. to meet up with Mr. Man when we were all, when we were yeah. all a group. Yeah, used to double up. I remember that. We, that's what we called it. The double up. Double up. We'll yeah. go over there and skate at Sparkles. Once, once, once we, because the DJ started to check. Y'all were comfortable with the DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. Talk. yeah we always I can And then Matt, so <laughs> just to get back to the culture and the style, the, when they, we start institutionalizing these DJs in this, in these rinks, they brought their own flavor. Yeah. And that's why Sparkle started to grow more because Sunday night in 2005, first of all, the movie was shot in 2005 and it dropped in 2006. Once that movie dropped in 2006, Cascade was lit. 
Because back in the day, before the movie dropped, Cascade used to be dead. People who went to college, you didn't see them in here until they until spring break. Yeah. Golden Glide, Cascade was trying to get the Golden Glide uh, uh, scene. And spring time, they, they wasn't getting it until the movie and, dropped. And Sparkles at Riverdale on Sunday night. But 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 Sparkles had closed down before um before this this took took off. Sparkles closed down. Right. Y'all start moving to Golden Glide. Right. Golden Glide was always well, man, Thursday night, but still better than Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's on me now. Um, to ask you the actual question though, the word, the, like the actual ATL style, the actual phrase, I don't, first time I actually heard it was probably about, like he said, about 10, 12 years, 10, 12 years ago. Not saying the style wasn't around. But the actual wording of it, yeah, right. the phrasing, right. right? So even stabbing, stride, and all that, even though the styles has been around, when nobody was nobody even really talking about it, you know, all the skate parties, skatathon, job biscuit, whatever, it was all about JB's, um, New York, New Jersey, New Jersey style. and New right, style. you know, what I'm saying uh, the DC style, Detroit slide, and stumping roaches, or whatever you want to do. But the word ATL style was Skatathon to be the home rink. It's in Atlanta. ATL didn't actually have an actual style. It was just, all right, the home rink, everybody go. And it was just a bunch but, of, it was, it was organized chaos. But, but do you remember, do you remember ATL didn't get a roll call, an actual roll call until within the last five years? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Literally. And that's what literally people started saying, hold on. Now I'll give it to the younger people. Now they were the ones that really started picking up a bunch yeah. of dust. Like we doing all this traveling, and you telling me y'all ain't gonna call out Atlanta, right? And we and we travel and we well, travel. Well, well, the reason was that it was like he said in his last interview. It was only fifty to oh, excuse me. It was only like uh fifteen to twenty people representing right. Atlanta. Right. So when post COVID happened, you got all these youngsters that can travel that got money that wanted to make a name for themselves right. but didn't have the history of Atlanta. Right. So when somebody from Philly challenged them about or, or riding or the technique and the technique, they don't know how to talk about it. Right. They don't know what to say. They, they said, wait a minute. Riding came from Philly. That's what I, I three years ago, riding came from Philly. Riding but no, no other young generation could talk about it. They couldn't say, no, nah, y'all wrong. We learned from a cat that was in Cascade. Yeah. You got to go further back. You got to go back to your time. You got to go back to, the, you got to go all the way back to, to clarify it. But they didn't know, they didn't know who to talk to. Right. So now we got, they know who they learn from. now we got, now we got a style in limbo. Yeah. Right. And everybody learning different. Now, don't get me wrong. You can learn different styles and do all that stuff. Yeah. But dang, how we here in, in a, in the South where skate parties, your skate party is about to be the biggest skate party in the South from my understanding. But we don't, we can't even represent Atlanta, but we represent everybody else. That's what I see. Yeah. Every other style is bigger than Atlanta. Right. Uh, yeah, we ain't had that long, dog. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I originally started, I was ATL stepping, clapping. I rode, you know, as a child. Um, I used to see this gentleman come in the skating ring when I was a teenager. And he would always throw his thumb up at me, and I wonder who this guy was. And um, this guy happened to be the uh, be a, the gentleman by the name of Bill Butler. So I heard so much about him. R- remind you me, I'm 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 speed skates, I'm clapping, I'm stepping, I'm doing all the crazy stuff that we normally do in Atlanta. I hadn't yet labeled it as a style yet. When I met Bill Butler, and I well, I did research to see who who is this guy, who's this guy everybody talking about, so forth, and. Not, not to cut another short. He just gave me some history because I've been skating since I was six, seven years old. And, and he gave me history on somebody that dedicated and did the same things as Bill Butler did in Atlanta versus Bill Butler doing it in New York. I wanted to know about this style of skating and it, and it, and it broke my curiosity. So when I met Bill, I started learning the New York New, uh, jamming style, New York, more or less like a New York, New Jersey style type of skate or, New, uh, you know, and I started practicing with him. I wanted to understand what the pairs and the, 
and to seeing the couple skate, I've never seen nothing like that before. Cause when we rode with trains and stuff, we showed the show. We collabing and stuff. And so when I saw this, I was like, what is this? Wow, what is, you know, and I got a chance to witness and see some videos and see Michael Johnson skate. And and rest in peace, Mike J. But when I saw this style of skating, it, it, it piqued my interest. And 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 that's one of the reasons why I started learning and taking lessons from Bill, because I wanted to learn this. I can honestly say Atlanta is very diverse. Now, they say we don't, a lot of times they say we don't represent Atlanta. But in my fashion, in my heart, I represent Atlanta the way that I see the cultures growing. We have so many different cultures in Atlanta right now. You know, we, we, we got ATL, we got Chicago, we got New York, New Jersey, Detroit. So Atlanta's like a melting pot with so many different cultures in Atlanta. What I, history, he, he gave us a lot of it. He taught me something that I didn't even know. And I skated with him back in the day. Skated with Paul. I skated with a lot of ATL riders, man, and stuff. They, we all around the same age. We started around the same time. I just chose to learn a different style. It, it, it wasn't that I, 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 I veered away from what we do here in Atlanta. When I created for the love of skating, I seen what was going on in Atlanta. I seen all these different styles and all these different cultures and, 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 and all the, the people moved to Atlanta because we had more skating rings than any other city. So they would move to Atlanta. That way they can skate freely. They can, they got, we got all these different rinks in Atlanta. Name a city that got more rinks than Atlanta, Georgia. So, so when creating for the love of skating, I wanted to create an event where everyone can come stay. It doesn't matter if you was New York, Atlanta, Detroit, Detroit, uh, New Jersey, uh, Ohio, Cali, Philly, in every style. I wanted everybody to come here. That's why it's called For the Love of Skating. And it didn't matter your style. You can come here and have fun and visit us in Atlanta at our rinks that we go to every day. We can go to these rinks anytime. But I understand that people that come from overseas or people that come from out of town, they don't they don't have rinks like we have. They they might only have one rink or two rinks. So I wanted this my for the love of skating to be about unity. I wanted everybody to come and visit us in our city and feel like they can come show their talent or their style right here in Atlanta, Georgia. For the love of skating is not just one style. It's for all styles, for everybody that want to come that loves roller skating. Right, right. If you find roller skating, you love it in your heart, you can come and get, you're going to hear your music. We got 13 different DJs. We want to cover it all. We want to cover it from Atlanta all the way to the West Coast. We want to cover New York, New Jersey. We want to cover all the music. I feel like in my heart, being right here in Atlanta, where For the Love of Skate was created at, a tribute is due to Atlanta to showcase our style. I'm doing this Saturday. I'm doing this Saturday here. I'm gonna have a showcase. Well, I want to have them showcase that Atlanta style. I just seen Paul ride that wall and roll in the Carolinas, and I had to take my hat off three or four times because I couldn't believe he did. He did that, but not 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 getting off topic. I just wanted to touch bases and tell you guys a little bit of why I'm here and what I came to do. Unity. I'm not stepping on nobody's styles. I'm just here to bring all the styles together. We can all skate together. We can all have fun. We can all showcase all these different styles and talents. Because skating is different now. This younger generation is skating. They're doing stuff that I couldn't even do. You know, so it's a lot, it's a lot going on in the skate world right now. It's so much talent. All these doors are opening. Opportunities are opening. He had a chance to do things and opportunities that I never had. Paul had a chance to do this, uh, 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 skating and opportunities that I never had. You know, so as I'm saying, there's a lot of doors opening right now. Uh, not just in Atlanta, but all over the world in showcasing roller skating. Sure. And, 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 and my take is I just wanted to come in and let you know that I love skating, period. Skating saved my life. I've been skating since I was six, seven years old. I took off a few years, maybe three or four years and I'm back and I'm here to stay. And, um, I can't skate like I used to, but I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be on this platform amongst all these great legendary skaters that's around me. I'm blessed to even be here talking, talking with them and getting more history from stuff that I forgot or I, I didn't know about. You know, so I'm not going to hold this mic. I, I really want the rest of the coordinators and the leaders here that's here to really talk about what you bring, what you bring to Atlanta, Paul. Paul has a, a, a he has Ajax coming up. 
He's what well, he's on year thir- is it thirteen or twelve? Year twelve. So um he represents Atlanta in a major way. He's out in the park, he's on stage doing concerts and stuff. I just wanted to tell my part. If you want to know more about me and what I have going on, you can follow me, Jody underscore seven two one on IG. I'm gonna get this platform to these other legends and let them talk about it. Yeah. I'm gonna say a couple of things and then I'm gonna pass it over to my brother right here. I just want to say this. First of all, we appreciate you. I appreciate personally every person that had a skate party because I love the skate culture. That's one of the things that we all got in common. Just like he said, skate, skating saved his life. It didn't necessarily save my life, but I've always wanted to do it. I've only been skating for about 25 years. Not really long at all. I will say going back to when, when everybody started propagating, uh, when ATL started, I'm going to be honest with you. From my point of view, ATL, people started talking about ATL style about 10 or 10 to 12 years ago. In my, in my assessment, the reason why they started talking about it is because, like I said earlier, a lot of Atlanta is a melting pot. I think we were under, we were under a lot of pressure in Atlanta. Especially for the, those that are originally from Atlanta, because everybody was coming down with, to Atlanta with their own styles. Philly, New Jersey, uh, Chicago, Illinois, everybody had their own style. And because Atlanta is a melting pot, I think we were under this, this type of pressure to, to say that we had a style. Now we did have a style, because we did certain things here. But Atlanta has been a melting pot for years. It was a melting pot when I started skating. In fact, when I first started skating, long story short, I started skating Chicago style because the Chicago style appealed to me at first. Then I met Mr. Man. Me, him, and I was close. I know he, I knew Mr. Man outside of the rink. We got close, so I started doing ATL style. That's when I met Tony. So I started learning ATL style, but I personally wanted to know all the styles because that's how much I love skating. I didn't want to be relegated to one particular style, so I love skating that much. But I, I ain't going to hold the mic. I just think that the reason why ATL was, uh, we was under so much pressure to call them to, to say we have a style because we had all these people coming with their own personal styles. Because we had so many rinks in Atlanta and we accepted everybody. So like I said, I love skating. I'm going to be skating probably <laughs> until I die. But I, lo- I love all these guys. I love skating. I love the skate culture. And we just need to come together. And let me just say this last one thing, please. I don't know how, I don't personally know who are gonna, who's gonna hear all this. But we need to, we need to bring, because we all got one thing in common. We love skating. Kill the animosity. Kill the, kill the strife. Kill the enmity. All that stuff. Because we got one, we love skating. Anybody that can learn, can teach me something, I'm, I'm open to learning. But all this animosity between, the, between the brothers and sisters, we need to kill it. We need to kill it. So that's all I want to say. Okay. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and weigh in right quick. Um, when I first started paying attention to the evolution of the skate culture, like, I've been skating since I was a little kid as well, but I started realizing that skating had evolved to something completely different. And I met SOS, I met um, Blade, I met Corey, I met Tony and, and Mr. Man and the crew and Dewan's Paul coming in as a journalist myself, much like yourself, right? I was so infatuated with what was going on in the skating rink that I wanted to know the mentality behind what I was witnessing because it was totally different than when I started. I had never seen skate had this much swagger, this much fashion. It, it, it became a different beast. And coming in from that standpoint, I realized that you had so many flavors and textures. And I think it can be identified that Whenever a culture evolves, it, 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 it is forced to self identify. Atlanta has always had a vibe. It's always had a frequency. It has always had some fundamental things that has distinguished it from anybody else. They just didn't find it necessary to say such because of the culture. The culture is just all encompassing, all embracing. But when you get other people coming in, 
It's natural to have com competition. It's not, it's just natural. Yo, what set you claim kind of thing, right? And it's not on any, you know, negativity necessarily, but to watch it grow into what it is right now and to have the movies be a focal point to bring out the vibration, the energy, the passion that has always been embedded down here in the song and then say, okay, it's a style. That right there is impressive. And, and, and all I'm getting here, when I was interviewing people, all I could hear was nothing but absolute love and passion for the art of the art. And when you have that type of expansive mindset, it doesn't matter which side of the floor you come from, whether it's the East Coast, North, whether you uh, St. Louis, Ohio, whether you JB, whether you ATL, whatever you, it doesn't matter. It's all about the art, the expression, the love of it. So everybody got their place. Everybody got their, their, their contribution that they give to the art of. Yeah. Right. And that's how you grow. Cause you have people that all they want to do is just be artistic because they are afraid to get into a, a, a sick battle. <laughs> if, if, so if, if I do one move that's JB, oh my God, I got to go ahead and claim all JB. <laughs> I'm scared now. I, I love this move I, and I also love the smoothness of this. And, I, and can I mix it all together and just be free? Yeah. Right. So that I don't lose my love for the actual act itself. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. It's all love. So I, I'm, I'm a proponent of that. And I, and, and honestly, I was afraid to get into any crew because I was in absolute infatuation with the ones in SOS. They were all my heroes. Every last one of them. I didn't, it, it, but, but Tony was the one that was like, Hey bro, he kept nagging me. Hey man. Hey bro, you need to do something with your skate. He needed to, he was, he built me up. I was like, really Tony? And that's how you know I'm out there. Stab it. That's Tony. Stab that's Tony. It. Stab it. So, so and I'm just, to me that if you want to talk about style, I, I'm going to give you this as a style. This is ATL style. And if you don't have that, I don't care what your technique is. If you ain't about family, if you are not t about teaching, if you are not about encouraging somebody to be better on their wheels, then, then you are, you have no, you have no, you have no style. That's ATL style. It's about family. Period. That's it. Okay. Well, I just want to say one thing. This is the last of it all. I understand. What would y'all consider the most difficult skate skate style? <laughs> style. No, so that's what I get to. That's what I was saying. That's, that's what every, we're everybody here has a everybody here has a different way of of of, of demonstrating what they know. Yeah. Stabbing is not the only thing. That's why I brought up the Stomp Boys because what they brought, they brought an action in their moves. Yeah. They bring a huge technique. Yeah. You can't just learn their stuff overnight. Right. He got a, like a playbook that has a hundred moves in there, yeah. and you don't get to see all of them. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For me, the part yeah. that for me, uh, my crew and people that I've taught. We bring what Skate Man and D'Angelo and Levi taught. They gave us the soul. They, they, they made us say, hey, if you're going to do it, you got to put your all in it. You can't, if it's just one move, that one move got to, that it got to be on fire. Play into the crowd and, and play into each other. So when he talks about the family, when you in a crew, and I know when he's, when they in that crew, they all feel each other. If he's hype, his entire team gotta be hype. That's, That's the ATL style. Yeah. That's one of the hardest things. You gotta get out your mind and be in the mindset with the people that you on the floor. Even with this young crew today, we see this young crew just, just killing it on the floor. They all in sync. That's the, that's the hardest part of the ATL style. Being in sync in the mindset. Not just in the in the skill. Anybody can be talented. Anybody can be talented. Yeah, but if you don't have that heart, yeah, yeah. Shout out to it don't yeah, look yeah. right. But I don't mean to cut you off. But it. Listen, I love every last one of y'all and appreciate y'all for what y'all do. But it's not about us anymore. It's not about neither one of us. It's about the young generation that's out there right now that I'm speaking up for. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I want to see them do what we did 
but even better. Even better. So, so that's what it's all about. So, me. so I agree with what you're saying, yeah. but they gotta come see us. Yeah, of course. To get you the knowledge, you, I, you, got, I, I you got, you, you got, you got, you, you do, you do what you do. You do. Right. It's time for Tony to teach. Right. It's time for Joe to teach. It's time for me to teach. Yeah. It's yeah. not about us anymore. We done done, we done done what we done done. Right. So, 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 that's what I'm saying, bro. Listen, skate mafia, right? Yeah. They went and learned from Mr. Man. That's the that's the word on the street, right? So the Gwinnett, the Gwinnett skate mafia, they haven't went to learn from anybody. They just been, they just been doing whatever they seen on videos and, and. Antonio Johnson, the ones, Cascade Dream Team, and ATL Game Time, and AJ. Tony Taylor, Sick Off Skate Crew. Danielle Shakur, aka Blaze Dead Road. Drip, Drip Rolling ENT, Slayer, Stomp Hard. Jody's for the Love of Skate, right here in Atlanta, Georgia, baby. Hey. Hey, I'm a I want a selfie. I want a selfie. Yeah.